Hello everybody, this is Budrich. Uh, I think I should change to a more friendly color theme. Why not Plan 9 colors? I like those. They are great. Oops, there. And we got the toilet. Thurnar Launch for Excellence is the name of this uh, uh, video. Uh, uh, uh. And I want to improve our launching Thunar uh, experience a bit. It's um, there are quite a lot of things here we we need to look into. Right now we have the Thunar uh, thing open here, you know, and we could also start our IPC start guy here. And we all know now it changes uh, layout and stuff uh, depending on whatever. Uh, but if I close Thunar here. And open it again with super e now we can see this is how it looks like it always opens the home directory the title format is not uh, formatted here now and it also opens it in list view same with uh, if we open this also opens home directory in list view the B B container which we have set uh, I think we did this in the first uh, video in the i3 config file uh, here we have it mod 4 e launch fm uh, c d for d container and b for b container with shift e so what i would like to do here uh, is one fix the title format so so we remove this file manager part here Another thing I would like to, to add is a path argument to our launch FM script here so we can open different directories if we specify a path. If uh, the home directory can be the default, but if we specify another path, it should open that in, in uh, when it executes Thunar. And uh, I also would like uh, the right layout, so to speak. So when we open the home directory, it should open, it should be the, the um, icon view uh, as, as we have set in D rules but I think for for this um, B window I always want it to be list view so this is also something I would like to, to take care of we'll see how far we get but I, I, I um, uh, we start with the title format here and uh, when we update the title format as it is now, when the title updates, that, that's done inside our Python script here, you, you remember, uh, where we have added, a, it's like an event handler. Every time the title changes, it executes this window notify method, which I guess we could rename here to title change. Yeah, let's do that. Um, and when the title change, it uh, checks if the title or if the class of, of that window is Thunar D, meaning this uh, window. So it will never update the, the layout for, for this. Uh, it always, it, uh, yeah, it does it. It only executes this on the, on the D container. It executes this Thunar uh, event method here, which I guess we could rename also to uh, Thunar update like this uh, but it doesn't do this when we create a new window because that's a different event when a new window is created so I think we should add a, a, a new yeah, event handler or, or whatever it's called you know and it's as easy as doing this we, now we listen for the new event and here uh, new window we can call this method and then we just copy this new window print a new window is born okay uh, we can test this if we reload the python listener here so now when we create a new window it should print a new window is born shouldn't do that now now it just prints yeah, the other stuff but if I close Thunar again here now and open it again 
we can see it prints a new window is born and this is true where whatever window I open here so for instance Clavaro it also prints a new window is born it actually prints it two times here and I don't know it I, I think it's a hidden window or something that's created also whatever so that's something to be aware of that this will uh, get executed in every new window event uh, and just as with um, the title change we we only want to to um, to do things here now on the Thuna window, at, at least as it is right now. Mm, we could do this also. I change here now. A new window is born. Let's print the class of the of the born window, so to speak. So reload here, close Thuna, open it again. And here we can say, see it says Thuna, Clavaro. Oops, wrong key. Clavaro. It says Clavaro. This is just some control character I, I uh, accidentally pressed control, whatever. Um, and also, of course, we got this window. If we close that and open it again, it should say Thunar. So Thun uh, and and remember, we rename the class name to Thunar D. We do that in in the launch FM script here in with, with the remain rename command to i3 run. So it's actually named Thunar D here, and uh, uh, this one is named Thunar B for B container, D container. But as we could see, it prints Thunar, and this is because uh, this new event is actually triggered before we rename the, the window. So when this happens, the, the class of the window is still uh, just Thunar. But this uh, doesn't really matter because we want to change the title format for both windows and stuff. So, so this is okay. And then to change the title format, that is this thing you, you remember. We, we do it here in the up thuner update method. We, we, we can just copy paste that here. This is not good at all because now it would change this title for any window, even Clavaro, so we should also make a, a test here, but it, it, it's okay, just to test it now. Close this, open Thunar. Ah, we also have to reload this guy. Open Thunar. Now it changes to the right title format, but this is very bad now, because now it will rename uh, also Clavaro. I don't think it's... Uh... Yeah, now we got weird title format here for Clavaro as well, so... We have to make sure here that it's only uh, Thunar that's affected. We can do that with, with a similar test. But now not Thunar D. And we do this, save there, close Clavado, reload, Python, close Thunar, open Thunar, write title format, Clavado, good title format. Good, thank you. Um, but now we have a uh, duplicate stuff here. Now we do the same thing here. We take the title and convert it and we do it here as well. It doesn't affect the uh, performance really now because uh, these are two different. This is when we update Thuner when the title changes and this is only executed when a new window uh, is created. So they will not uh, get executed uh, two times. It, it, it doesn't matter like that, but it's, I would like to, to, um, refactor this a bit, maybe create a, a method uh, that that will handle this uh, title format thing of Thunar. So let's do that. Define uh, update Thunar title format event colon and then we add this stuff here now instead and here we do this this should work I think uh, let's test it and I will try to explain what's going on if it worked um, close Thunar open it again and it changed title format because this is what happens now a new window is created, new window method is, is executed, uh, it prints here uh, the class name 
and then uh, it, it checks if the class is Thunar, then it will execute the update Thunar title format uh, function or method here. And we, we pass this event object, which is something that I use all over, as you can see here. And this event object, it, it contains like the, the, the type of change, if it's a new or title change or whatever, but it also contains all information about the window. For instance, the, the uh, container name here and stuff. So that's why I can use it like this. But we still have duplicates now. Um, one thing we can do, because the thing is, we could of course just call this method um, in our update uh, uh, Thunar method as well here. Instead of this, we could do this. This will do the same thing. If I reload. Now it should update the title format if I go into a different directory, and it does. Uh, but we still have these duplicates and we do this uh, format the title. Now, now we are actually uh, uh, doing um, double execution of, of things here. Uh, reformatting the title. Two, we do that two times and we don't need to do that. Instead we can, could do this because we, we, need to, we need the format the title. Not only for the title format but also as an argument here to update the fem as the p, the path. Then we, we, we need the formatted uh, variable here. And what we can do is we could uh, add this to the title format method here to return the new title. Meaning, yeah, the, the variable or, or, or just the path. And then we, when we added that return, that means that we can use the method itself here as the argument because then the value of this method will be the new title. So I think this will work. Save, load. Yeah, and it works. Now we, th this is really good. I think we, we will find use for this uh, soon here. Um, okay, and now we, we got the right title format. One problem though is this uh, B container window. This also, uh, well right now it doesn't, but if I create a new new one, we can see it have the uh, formatted title format without this file manager part. But this is only when the window is created because uh, yeah, new window it will update the title format. But then it will not update the title format anymore. If I open a new directory it doesn't change the title format now. Because updates uh, are only triggered uh, on Thunar D window. Uh, and I would like to update the, the title format for the B window as well even if I cannot really see it with my polybar overlaying it but whatever. Sometimes I need to see it anyways. Uh, and it's just nice and now it's so easy when we have, have this in our own uh, method here. Because I don't want to change layout of the B window. I, I actually want the B window to always be list view. We'll get back to that. But what we can do here is, is on title change, we could add one more test here. And here we say Thunar B instead. But here we only do the update title format method and it doesn't matter now that that this returns uh, the value here it, it, it will not break anything uh, so load this hide polybar change directory home directory good pod directory it changes title for us. Now it works and it doesn't execute any of the other update FM and uses this internal um, event container command thing here. This is very lightweight and good. <clears throat> so that's uh, also really neato. But a problem here is of course that, uh, let's see if we can get it, if we go here for instance, now you can see, now I have a directory with a long, longer path here. And we cannot really read it when we have more than two or three tabs. Um, 
and I would like to shorten this title format to replace the, the absolute path to the home directory with a tilde instead. That would make this much more readable and we could fit more tabs uh, easily. Uh, and the home directory, home slash bud, that is my, the, you, you, your home directory is probably named something else, but you know that uh, the home directory is stored inside the environment variable home. This is the same thing. And environment variables, the cool thing with them is that they are available almost everywhere. You can access them in Python, you can access them in, in um, awk, in C, whatever. Uh, and I actually think we need to do one of these import things here to, to get access to the environment variables. Let's uh, see if we can find something. Um, access environment variables in python see what we get <laughs> it's great this is exactly what we need import os uh, is is uh, i don't know what these are called if it's a, a package or a class or whatever but we need to import os to get access to this environ uh, array here. And we could even do this. Uh, if we do from OS import environ, then we don't need uh, this, and it will only import this environ, yeah, environment uh, part subclass, I guess, of this import package or superclass or whatever it is. Um, then we can, let's just add this here, print, now it should print uh, the home directory every time we update Duna here, I just want to see if this works. So we change directory, we go into SND, and here we can see home bud, that is the, yeah, it's this, it prints the uh, path to our uh, home directory. Of course, we could we could just hard code our home directory, but then you have to do that for every whenever you change your user and stuff. It's much better to use these environment or uh, environment variables. And what we wanted to do was to change um, change this to a tilde in the title format. And here's another good uh, uh, use case for for uh, adding this title format uh, stuff into a separate method. Because now we only need to add this to one place here, and I I don't know this this can probably be be coded in a better way, but we we use the same method here with with a substitute from from the regular expression package or whatever it is. Uh, we we look for home, we replace that with a tilde, but this time not a new title and not in title, in new title. I think this will work also. Now change directory, pod. Hey, we got a tilde, we got a home directory, we got a, just a, this is great. And what about this? Change directory here. And it works here here as well. Now we all, now this uh, path is so long so we cannot see the whole whole thing, but it's much better and we now we can fit much more tabs here and, and still read the full path to them. Great. So uh, yeah, I, I, I think we make a break there, but uh, lots of good small improvements, you know, it, it is like this, you know, you, 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 you get an ID, you implement it, it, it looks like nothing and it is, it, it's like, <laughs> oh, you have to make a whole script just to get a tilde, but just small little things. After a while, you they they become parts of a of a bigger <laughs> bigger rise, you know. Whatever, whatever. Thank you for watching. Uh, next video we continue uh, with the path argument uh, uh, functionality to launch FM. Thank you. Have a great day.